The movie opens up in the woods where we see a girl in the dark running towards a car. The girl's name is Trish and she goes to the car to pick up some beer cans. Then someone approaches from behind and startles her and it turns out to be her boyfriend Chad. Chad then asks her what she is doing here and who she is with. But Trish replies him that she is there with some other girls for a slumber party and also says it is not his concern since they broke up cause Chad cheated on her. Then Trish goes back to her cabin and sits down and talks with her friends. Her friends tries to lighten up Trish's mood from the breakup. Then they put on some music and starts dancing while this is happening. We see that someone is peeping at the girls from a window and it turns out to be Chad while looking at the girls. Chad notices that someone is also peeping on the girls from the other window. Chad then goes to the other side to check on to see who it might be and he finds a man named Russ is standing there Russ then picks up a drill and uses it to kill Chad despite all this the girls didn't notice a thing due to the music after some time while they are having a chat we see Russ is slowly entering the cabin through the window and goes into the kitchen then Trish goes to Kim who is preparing brownies and sees her lying on the desk when she gets a closer look she sees a hole drilled into her stomach and gets panicked. She tries to call someone but the phone lines are off and suddenly the power goes down too. Then she goes out to check and Jackie pulls her to a side and tells that someone killed Diane and they both gets very scared and thinks they are going to die. Then Jackie tells her that she is the one that slept with Chad and asks Trish for apologize. Her in case if she dies while Trish is thinking how to escape. Jackie quickly rushes to the main door and sees Russ is standing right in front of her. Soon Russ drills her in the throat while Russ is busy Trish escapes into the kitchen and locks the door. When she tries to look through the hole Russ drill her hand through the door while he is about to kill Trish. She uses a food can to stop the drill and runs out of there while she is on the bridge. The killer catches her and tries to kill her. Then she takes a paddle besides her and hits him with it and makes Russ fall in the lake. Then the scene shifts to Los Angeles at present where we see a girl named Dana is packing her things to go for a trip with her friends Maeve, Bernie and Ashley. Then her mother comes to Dana to inform that her friends are here to pick her up. And soon we finds out that Dana's mother is Trish and she has been worried to send her daughter out. Cause she is scared since the incident after getting out of the house. Trish asks Dana's friends where they are going and they tells different answers. But soon one of them covers that she is confused and they starts the car after. Sometime while they are in the car, Dana turns back to check for something and while she is checking suddenly, a hand comes and grabs Dana. Then everyone gets panicked, so they stops the car and runs out of it. When they look back it turns out to be May's sister Alex. When the others reminds her that she is not invited, Alex tells that she got bored without them. So she hopped in. Then Maeve tells that they should leave her sister at home. But the others tells that they don't have enough time to go back and return again. And Ashley tells this might be a sign for not going and they should return to home but Dana convinces all the others and take Alex with them since they have no other option left. And then Maeve agrees to take Alex with them. After a while the car stops at a gas station and a mechanic checks the car and tells them that it needs a part change and says that they don't have any mechanic shops near. He tells them that he will bring the part the next day from his friend's shop which is far away later they get into the store at the gas station and meets a woman named Ka. They ask K for if they could find any place to stay nearby. K tells that she knows a cabin at a nearby lake in the town. Then K takes all the girls to the nearby cabin and shows them the place. She tells them to be safe and asks them to call her if they need anything. Later that night the girls kept drinking and partying while they are having fun. We see that the mechanic has come to them to give them the spare part while he is peeping at them. He notices one of his men standing there and gets panicked and soon the mechanic leaves the place later goes out of the cabin. Cabin and while she is walking along she finds a torch and soon she finds the truck of the mechanic and it is flat tired when she opens the door to check the mechanic's dead body falls on her. Then quickly Alex rushes back to the cabin with blood all over her. When the others asks what happened Alex tells them about the mechanic's dead body. And then she remembers about the documentary about Russ Throne and tells them about the scene that happened previously and she senses that the girls are repeating the exact same things happened on the night. When they hear the brownies are done they quickly picks up some weapons like knives and bats, and Alex understands that they are here on purpose. And the other girls reveals that they came here on purpose to kill Russ while they are talking they suddenly hears a knock on the door. Then Dana goes to the door to answer it, 
When she opens the door she sees two men standing in front of her Matt and John after seeing them they hides their weapons and the boys tells that they just came in to say hi for the neighbors. Then the girls drags them in and while talking Matt tells that John is obsessed serial killers and that is why they are here and they are staying in the house where the killings happened years ago. Then Maeve gathers the girls and they start discussing if they have to tell them about Russ. Then Matt notices the knives and pulls out John out of there. After getting out Matt tells that he is suspicious of the girls cause of the things he noticed in their behavior back at the boys cabin while they are having party one of them referred as guy goes out to take a piss after he is done while returning back he sees someone throws an empty bottle on him when he goes to check on who did it he sees Russ standing next to a tree. He gets excited seeing Russ. But soon Russ picks up the drill and Guy tries to escape from him. But soon Guy gets caught by Russ and he drills up Guy. After a while that girls decides to warn the boys about Russ while they are on the way. They hear some screams from the cabin and quickly rushes towards it. After getting there they sees through the window at the shirtless boys and kept lusting at them. But soon the lights gets turned off and they understands it is Russ and runs into the cabin. But Rust gets in and drills one of the boys in the head. By the time the girls turn on the lights the boys get startled seeing one of them is dead and they think that the girls killed him. But the girls tells that they didn't do it and Russ as the one killed him. Then the other boys remembers about Guy and picks up some deadly weapons to go look for Guy while they are going. The girls tells them they should stick on. But they didn't listen. And soon the girls also decides to look for Russ and goes out of there while Dana is telling them about the plan and saying that they should stick together. They hear the drill sound and they split up. When Dana gets alone Russ approaches her with a drill while she is trying to escape from there Russ follows her but soon Dana runs into Sean who is looking for Guy Sean uses his dangerous guitar weapon to fight with Russ but in the end his face gets drilled after Sean is dead Russ kept following Dana into their cabin Dana gets in and lock the door but Russ drills the door after noticing blood dripping out of the hole Russ gets in and follows the blood trail to get to Dana after getting to a room sees Ashley and it turns out to be a trap set by the girls. Soon all the girls starts to beat him but Russ picks up the drill again and follows Dana. Soon Dana gets caught up by Russ and when he is about to kill her, Bernie gives her a sword. Dana uses the sword and breaks the drill and then she slices of his throat. Soon Russ bleeds out and dies. Then Alex quickly rushes out to the body and brutally murders the dead body of Russ without any mercy. Then they all gets happy upon completing their mission the next day while they are sitting outside. Dana picks up the sword again and kept stabbing Russ, and the boy sees this from a side and gets scared of them and tries to get out of there. When the others ask Dana she tells that she is just making sure that he is dead. After some time while they are preparing to leave they notice that they are not getting any signal now and the Wi-Fi is also not working. They think something is wrong and Rush is their departure later. We see that Matt is taking a shower. Then suddenly he hears the sound sound of a handsaw. When he turns around he gets stabbed in the heart from behind with handsaw and he dies. Then the girls gets to the car while Ashley is repairing it. Someone closes the bonnet on her and then the killer starts the car and Ashley falls in the rotating blades and dies. Then the new killer gets to the cabin after some time at the cabin. Dana notices the weapons are gone and informs this to the others. Then they take a look at the dead body and it is gone. When Maeve opens the door she gets shot by a nail gun on the shoulder. Then Bernie look outside the window and she sees that Ashley is dead. And soon Bernie gets shot in the eye by the nail gun and she dies. And then they all goes to take cover while the killer is trying to shoot nails at them through the window. And they makes a plan to get out of there and use the mechanic's car to escape. Then Maeve gets out of the main door and calls out for the killer while the killer is targeting Maeve from a side. She runs back inside and Dana gets out of there through the window from the other side. After getting to the car someone comes from behind and tries to attack Dana and it turns out to be John they both think they are trying to kill the others after realizing that either of them are not killers. Dana asks John's help then John tells that he will drive her to their cabin and after getting into the car John leaves her alone and drives out of there later while walking back to the cabin Dana runs into Kay who is standing in the woods. When Dana asks why she is here Kay tells that she is here for snail hunting then she informs everything to Kay and she seems to be have any concern about it while walking back to the cabin Dana realizes something is wrong and asks Kay if she knows Russ then Dana tells her about her mother saying that after the incident her life changed and she kept protecting Dana all the time and that is why she came here to kill Russ to prove that she can take care of her own then Dana realizes that Kay is the killer and hits her but Kay picks up the rock and hits Dana with it and she reveals that Russ is her son and soon 
She stabs Dana in the stomach and Dana stabs her in the leg using the stick. Then Dana runs to the cabin and after getting in she tells Maeve about Kay but soon Kay gets there with an axe and starts breaking the door. Then they all goes in to hide. But Kay gets to them when she is about to kill them. Suddenly Trish gets there. They both gets into a fight and Trish gives the others a chance to escape from there. When Kay tries to kill Trish by choking her Dana gets in to help her mother after Dana beats up Kay. Dana and Trish gets out of there and while they're about to get into the car Kay gets from behind. While she is about to kill them, Trish uses the drill bit to stab Kay and kills her and that's it. What are you waiting for? Subscribe the channel to see more recaps and don't forget to like the video and click bell icon to see more videos. Have a good day.